When I was 30 years old, my mom died. Her death wasn't exactly a surprise. But her sister, my Aunt Beth, was having a really hard time dealing with it. My mom died of an overdose. She'd been a drug addict for 30 years, and she refused to get help. It had been a long time since I'd talked to her, but Aunt Beth stuck with her until the end. Beth? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't see you standing there. Are you writing to Allison? No, these are chain letters. Aren't chain letters illegal? Not if you're not asking for money, and I'm not. Beth was a widow. Her daughter, Allison, had gotten married and moved out a year before. So she was sad and lonely and bored. Your mother is gone from this earth, but she's not gone from my heart. I'm sharing my stories as a way to grieve. A person needs to grieve. Jackson Insurance, this is Caroline. Aunt Beth was definitely a little quirky, but she was always there for me, kind of like the mother I never had. So I went to stay with her for a while since I could pretty much do my job from anywhere. It looked like my mother, but this strange, terrifying, distorted image of her. Caroline, how about you take a break from your work and come and join me? Write a few letters. Talk about your mother. I think I'll pass. Not healthy to keep your sorrow bottled up, you know. This isn't for me, honey. This is for you. I've been using a P.O. box ever since I moved in with my aunt. No one knew they could reach me at her address. There's no return address and no stamp. Well, open it. Oh, great. Share a memory with 10 people within the next 24 hours, and you will have a blessed year. Do not, and you will pay for a lifetime. It's best just to do it. I'm not superstitious. But I was confused. And I tried to convince myself that my aunt must have sent it to me. But she hadn't left the house in weeks, and it wasn't her handwriting. After that, the chain letters kept coming. But I couldn't figure out who was delivering them. It really started to scare me. Oh, same as yesterday? Why do these keep coming for me instead of you? Well, I guess you're the one who needs them. Did you send those letters off? Of course not. You saw me tear that up. Share a memory with 10 people within the next 24 hours, and you will have a blessed year. Do not, and you will pay for a lifetime. They added a new line. Denial builds a prison stronger than iron bars. Who's sending these? I don't know. Just do what they say. Not happening. Maybe it was my aunt sending those letters. Maybe it wasn't. But it didn't matter. I wasn't going to write some stupid chain letter to grieve.
I tore up that letter and threw it in the trash. Was my mother, just like I saw her in that dream. Or maybe it wasn't a dream. I don't know. It didn't make any sense. I thought that I was losing my mind or having some sort of belated breakdown over her death. seeing. It was my mother. And then it hit me. All of this started after I got that first chain letter. And I just wanted it to stop. So I was finally desperate enough to take it seriously. Share a memory with 10 people within the next 24 hours and you will have a blessed year. Do not, and you will pay for a lifetime. Denial builds a prison stronger than iron bars. You need to feel what you feel, possum. I can't leave until you do. Mom? My mom called me possum when I was a kid. Nobody knew about that nickname except for the two of us. It was one of the only good memories I had of her. I thought my mother was terrorizing me, but I realized I was doing it to myself. I was seeing her the way I wanted to. I couldn't forgive her. I just couldn't let it go. She had moved on, now I needed to. So that night, I wrote down every good thing I could remember about my mom. After that, the chain letter stopped, and I never saw my mother in the house again. I do dream about her sometimes, but she's not scary anymore. She looks beautiful and happy, the way I've decided to remember her.